Hey everyone, it's Mike Giardina with Assault Fitness and today we're going to talk about some different seat height considerations that you can think about depending on the type of workout that you're doing. This is especially true for people that are right in between maybe two different seat heights, like myself and like Brian here. So if Brian were to do a sprint workout, since he's kind of between two seat heights, he'd probably set it on the lower seat height so he can activate more of the quad and really push during those sprints. So for Brian, this would be uh, a setting of seven. So on seven, he can really sprint through. You're gonna see a little bit more of that knee flexion and extension on this seat height that's gonna allow him to sprint faster. Now, if we were doing a longer workout, we want to recruit more of the posterior chain and maybe let the quads rest a little bit. We move this thing up, the seat up to about eight. Now you can see a little bit less knee flexion and extension and more flexion and extension from the hip. And this is the seat height that he would use for more of like an endurance. Uh, type of workout. So here are just a couple of considerations you can think about if you're right between seat heights for different types of workouts. Thanks.